Hey everybody, this is Ori from AstroWeb, and this video is uh, one of my favorites. Uh, and this video shows you how to look at search data, search queries on your website uh, using your uh, your search engine on your website if you have one uh, to figure out what the intent of users are, what they're looking for, and to make decisions in order to improve um, how the user experiences. And I'll show you a few examples. Okay. Um, so the first example here is a website we work with, and um, when they purchase watch bands, there's a search box, which quite a few people use. Um, so for example, if someone types in, let's say, I don't know, doesn't matter, so model, okay, just black, okay? The search, search appears, there's a lot of results, there's a lot of matching things, which is good. Um, so uh, what we're actually uh, looking at is to use analytics to look at that data, find what the most popular searches are, and what searches make sense and don't make sense. And I'll give, I'll give you another example. So let's say I search for this search term, um, and I have a few results. Um, what I like to look at is, especially the popular ones, I like to look at A, um, in the search result, in the page that appeared here, does the search engine that we're using, is the search engine that we're using showing quality results? So let's go to analytics and I'll show you. Okay. So what we want to do, first of all, I'm actually going to back up a little bit. In order to find the search queries, what you're going to need to do is look at the URL of the search query. So if you notice, this is the search, this is the page, and it says question mark search terms equals, and then you have the term itself, and then you have all this other stuff. So step one is to identify how the search term is placed in the URL. And so each website will be different. Um, it, so what we need to do, so in this case, it would be something like question mark search terms equals, and then the actual term. So what I want to do is go to analytics, go to all, a behavior, site content, and all pages. Okay, and what I want to do is add a secondary dimension with the page title. Okay, and we did this in another video. Now I'm going to go to my advanced tab, switch to page title. I'm sorry, page, and then I'm going to search for search. Okay. Okay, perfect. So actually, I made a mistake about this page title. We don't necessarily need it because uh, depending on your search term, uh, it will be um, needed or not. But right now, we don't need it in this case. I just uh, rushed a little bit, a little bit too much. So now, if you notice, I have search term equals, and now I have my search term right here: Skagen, citizen, coach. Here's the model number: two three three X L X X L S L B, and on and on. And so. If you show a lot of results, if you notice, there's about 17,000 different results right here based on our date range. So now you can just go one by one, especially starting from the, the um, most popular ones, and figure out, A, is the result page, if you, if you let's say if I click here, is the result page showing quality results? If not, you have to tweak your search engine, work on it, things like that. Okay? Um, and then the second one that I like to look at is, some of these results, so BL525053, for example, right? Some of the results, maybe we're out of stock, or maybe um, we need to reorder it or something like that. So I like to look at those terms and figure out um, how can we improve the search, the search results, okay? Now, um, so this, this is in stock, and that's good, okay? So another thing uh, to notice, for example, is maybe I have a... a Let's look here again. Maybe I have a product that a lot of people search for. So let's say these um, 29 people search for this. Now, if it's a really popular one and a lot of people are searching for it, I can look at my category, for example. Let's say I have a popular Casio uh, watch band people are searching for. It. If that product is not placed at the top of page one, when people are just browsing regularly without using the search box, I may want to reconsider about... Uh, actually raising, you know, let's say this is my product. So I don't want to make it difficult for people to buy. I want to make it easier. So 
on a on a search term that's very popular, you may want to consider putting it at the top of page one so people can easily find and they don't necessarily need to use the search box because maybe some people have used the search box because they haven't found it. There's too many products, it's too difficult. Um, you know, they don't know how to use the, the filters, things like that. So um, it really helps you understand what people are searching for and then start thinking about how you can optimize your website and make it easier and make it make it simpler for people to find what they're looking for. Um, so this is basically all this data. So you want to go every now and then through this data and figure out how you can optimize your site. What are people searching for? Maybe you can add for search engine purposes, maybe on your brand you can add the model numbers or you can add the colors or just look at the data look at what people are searching for and don't be close to the thing you think is best for the user just look at the input it's there take it and use it and it's a it's a great tool this say a search term so uh thank you very much for listening to this video uh let me know if you have any questions thanks